Hello all of you subscription box lovers and welcome to my channel and welcome to another unboxing. So today I am doing a magical unboxing and it is the Geek Gear Wizardry Classic box. So for anyone who does not know what Geek Gear is, I will leave a description down below, but basically it is a UK based fandom inspired subscription and along with their regular box that they send out every month that has different themes, they also have four subscriptions that are all based around the world of Harry Potter. So there is the classic box, there is the wearables box, which is mainly t-shirts, they have a wand subscription, and they also have a limited edition subscription. So today I will be unboxing the classic box and let's go ahead and get into it. So with shipping, this box comes out to around roughly $40 US. Now that is for basic shipping, which can take anywhere from two to three weeks, sometimes even as long as a month, because of course it's coming from the UK. Okay, so the first thing that you get is a shirt. Okay, it's Cornish Pixies. So this is from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets when Gilderoy Lockhart decides to set these little buggers loose on the entire classroom. Um, I do like the fact that it is a blue shirt. I would say in my past few boxes I have gotten a lot of black shirts and I don't actually wear a lot of black. So really happy about this. And then you get lots of little wormies. Um, hold on one second, I'm gonna try and get rid of some of these. So many wormies, okay. I think that's most of them. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing I see is the cheat sheet, which we're going to save. Now, I basically already know everything that's in my box because of course, YouTubers that live in the UK get their boxes before I do and I watch the unboxings so but still I it's really different to not actually see the items up close so this next item apparently is inspired by Hagrid so this is his um, his outfit now if you go on to Geek Gear's Instagram um, all you have to do is search for Geek Gear Wizardry they always give hints for the next box. Okay. Oh, this is actually pretty heavy. So this is the difference between seeing something in a video and then actually getting it for yourself. Okay, so this is obviously Hagrid's lantern and it is mainly from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I know you see him with it many other times, but I know of at least two scenes from the movie and also of course from the book where he has this. The first is where he's you know, getting all of the first years to come over to the boats and then later on when they go into the Forbidden Forest. So that is what it looks like. It even has a fake little um, opening and it's actually not really heavy but it definitely feels like quality. It's, made out, it's not made out of cheap plastic. Yeah, I like that. I do not have any shelves yet where I can display all of these little items, but I am very happy to know that if I put these away somewhere, I will eventually have some shelves that I can use. And then we have a little scroll. I'm also eventually going to be putting together a wall of all of the various prints and posters that you get in these boxes. So I know that this is supposed to be a, dec a educational decree. So it says, Proclamation, Educational Decree Number 82, all students will submit to questioning about suspected illicit activities. So this of course is from um, Harry Potter Um, which one is this from? Order of the Phoenix? Yes, so this is from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix when Dolores Umbridge, hate her, everyone hates her, 
when the horrible Dolores Umbridge takes over at Hogwarts and there's that gigantic wall in the school that's just filled with these things. Okay, I'm going to save this for last because I know what it is. And next we have a pin and it says, you're a wizard. Yes. Yes, I am. Technically, I'm a witch, but I can see how they couldn't put the gender specific pin in these boxes, so I'm going to let that one slide. Even though technically I guess wizard is gender specific because that's a boy. But still, I'm, I'm going to let it go just because it's so pretty. And it has Harry's lightning bolt on it. So these are these new things. You're not going to be able to see it really well. There you go. Yeah, sorry. I use natural light, so I'm sorry for the glare. But this is a new thing that Geek Gear has been introducing, which is these scratch-off cards, and you can win a free renewal, 10% off your next renewal, anything like that. No win. Better luck next time. No problem. And then also, my box was packed with love and care by Leslie. Now, I have a question. Is this Leslie? Or is this Leslie? Hmm. Gonna have to ponder that. Okay, so the next thing we have is the tea. So this has become a monthly thing with Geek Gear. I know all of 2018, their monthly thing was to include recipe cards that you then collected into a recipe book. So for 2019, it is a monthly tea. And this one is called Elixir of Life Tea. It is apple, hibiscus, rose hip shells, citrus peel flavoring. And it says blood orange infusion. And then it has a little philosopher's stone or sorcerer's stone, depending on whether or not you're in the US or in England. For us, of course, it's the sorcerer's stone. Now, I'm not a big fan of orange-infused things, but, ooh, that does smell tasty. I like that. I, I will definitely give that a try. So I still need to try my tea from the last box, which was a caramel infusion. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will do eventually a video where I just taste test all of the teas. So we have our last item and then we also have the print. Okay, so I already know what this is. And at first it has the G for Gringotts and uh, this is so gorgeous. So it is a vault key. And apparently everyone who gets a Geek Gear box has a different vault number. So it's not the same vault number over and over. So if I were to go to Gringotts, my vault, hold still, is vault 3776. So 3,776. I like that. I really do like the fact that it's individualized. Everyone has their own. It's basically like having a... Um, one of those things that you, one of those collector things where it's numbered and it's, it's really weighty. It feels like really good metal and it's just really pretty. This is definitely going to be something that is going to go on my display shelves as soon as I have shelves. Okay. Don't get, don't get bent. Sorry, I'm trying to just make sure that the little tag doesn't somehow pop off. So I think I'll keep that in its little box for now. And the last thing we have is the print. Now this is also a monthly thing that all of the boxes have in common. Everyone comes with a print. Sometimes it's a drawing and then sometimes it's an actual staged photo the way that you would find uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So this, I like this. So this is Amortentia, which of course is the love potion from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince that everyone keeps trying to sneak to Harry but then Ron accidentally gets it and it's pretty funny. 
So you have a cauldron and then you have some smoke coming up and of course it's in pinks and purples and a little bit of yellow with some emerald, some greens and blues thrown in there, um, which I guess definitely adds some contrast. I like this. This will definitely go in a frame along with this thing. Okay, so the last thing in the box is the cheat sheet which of course is made to look like a Hogwarts acceptance letter. And then this is just what it looks like. So it just says, thank you for being a subscriber. And then it says, in this box for May 2019 is the Pixies t-shirt, the numbered vault key, the lantern ornament, the You're a Wizard pin, the monthly elixir of life tea, Harry Potter poster, which is the proclamation number 82, and the love potion print and then of course absolutely everything is exclusive they do a little shout out to a, another youtuber um, this is victoria mclean who i believe has the guinness world record for the largest world of harry potter collection in the world so it's pretty good and then we have next month's hint which is potions and then they have already revealed that every box that comes out for the month of June will have an actual potion replica in it. And then the other two hints that they've dropped is that the June box will also include a wand as well as something inspired by Voldemort and his Death Eaters. So, there you go. Okay, so like many of the YouTubers this month, it is really hard to pick a favorite. A favorite item. They're all really good. Um, usually like any other subscription box, the items are hit or miss. Some items you really, really like. Some are just like, okay, I'm glad I have this, or yeah, I'm definitely going to get rid of that. But I really like the print. Um, I like the colors. I do like the pin, and I can see why it says you're a wizard. I don't really think it has anything to do with gender. It's the Hagrid quote, you're a wizard, Harry, and because, of course, it has his little lightning bolt. So I like that. It will definitely go on my bag. Hmm. Favorite. Okay. Definitely one of, definitely my top favorite item is going to have to be the numbered vault key just because I think it's really well made. I love the fact that everyone has their own vault number. I think that is incredibly creative and really personalized. So this was definitely my top favorite. And hmm, I can't really speak to the tea yet just because I haven't tried it, but I did like the smell. But I would have to say these two items are my absolute favorites, mainly because they're just, they're really good quality. They're replicas. They'll look great on my shelves when I, once I eventually have shelves. So those two items, I do like having this for my wall because I know that sometimes they do send out other proclamations because there were, I want to say dozens, maybe even up. If you, if you watch the movie, you sort of see it on a grander scale, but basically one entire wall and Filch is on that giant ass ladder and it's just proclamation after proclamation after proclamation after proclamation. So you, they ha definitely have a lot more of these that they can send out is what I'm saying. Really happy to add this to my little to try um, pile. And I really do like the fact that this is a t-shirt that is not black. Um, like I said, I, along with getting the classic box, I also get the wizardry wearables box, which generally includes about three t-shirts and then a fourth wearable item. And for the past, I'd say two boxes. Yeah, for the past two boxes, everything has been black. One gray shirt, but everything else was black and I don't wear a lot of black. Yeah, I love the color. The design is okay. I mean, I get it. I think anyone, if you have absolutely no idea what Harry Potter is, I mean, besides living under a rock, you would not know what this is. So I do like the fact that it is sort of subtle. It basically looks just like fairies 
in a cage. So only someone who was an actual Harry Potter fan would recognize that these are Cornish pixies, know what book they're from, and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> I really like that. I do. It's growing on me. All right, so that was everything in my May Wizardry Classic box. As I said, I also subscribe to the Wizardry Wearables box, which is also on its way. And I am also subscribed to the Limited Edition box for this month, which is also on its way. And I will be unboxing both of those on my channel. So if you also subscribe to Geek Gear Wizardry, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your vault number is and what you liked most in your box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to making my next one. Don't um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave to check out some more of my unboxings as they come out. Bye!